baby, this is, this is Kiki. Hello, loves. We are ready. We are willing. We are live, baby. Yes, I am so excited, you guys, to be on AMP right now for the live show of my podcast, baby, this is Kiki Palmer. Okay, you guys, I will be in the chat room taking all of your calls. So get ready, but also be on your best behavior, honey. We don't want to have to cut you off right when we answer the lines. Um, today, I'm going to be sharing my opinions on everything. And that is the thing I was most excited about doing the podcast live is because usually, you know, I can't talk about the, the you know, topics of the day or the topics of the week because I don't know when you guys are going to hear the episode. So the fact that we get to be live on AMP, it's giving me all the life I need. And it only could be that much better the fact that I'm going to be able to take calls from you guys. So this is exciting. I'm answering your burning questions. But first, you know how I do it. Let's go down a rabbit hole with my partner, Darius, and my mama, Sharon. Yes. So how y'all doing today? I'm great. It's a great day in New York. It's beautiful. Got yes. some rest. How do you guys feel about uh, being live on the podcast today? You know, any live jitters? We usually are, you know... In the back with it. How do you feel? Yeah, I, honestly, I mean, because it's just us three and we always talk, it's, it's pretty comfortable. And that we, the difference is that we have cameras in front of us. And, exactly. I feel good, you know. But, you know, I'm just uh, excited. Just going to be myself. Hope I don't say no <laughs> crazy Sharon, stuff. Not just sounding like you're giving a presentation. I'm just going to be myself, you know? Be, you know? You know, I'm scared. I don't want to get canceled, you know? <laughs> Sharon, I think you've aged out of that. You can't. I think so, too. That's not possible. Yeah. Well, I mean, honestly, some people, but not you. Right. Exactly. <laughs> well, I agree with you on that. Now, you guys, normally we go down the rap rabbit hole on a specific topic, but obviously today we get the opportunity to talk about a bunch of different things. And mm. these are some things I could not wait to talk to you guys about, get your opinions on. <laughs> and I know you guys have some stuff, too, you want to talk to me about, but I'm going to go first, okay? Let's talk about Gabby and Dwayne. Okay, so just wow. to, okay. To, to refresh everybody's memory. So Gabrielle Union, a couple of weeks ago, she had spoke about how she and Dwayne go 50-50. Like, that's important to her. She feels like, you know, he does this, she does that, and that's how they do it. Yeah. And Dwayne came back out because, they, you know, Gabby actually received some flack uh, about that. Um, and Dwayne comes back and he speaks to it as well. And here's my thing. I grew up in a home, you know, you and Dad, y'all been together for over 30 years. Y'all did 35 years. I remember when y'all both was doing the factory shift together. That's right. Y'all have always done everything 50 50. And look, I know I, I, oh, her man is rich and this and that. And they've been through a lot and bringing up all they pass. And my opinion about that is like at the end of the day, if you marry somebody, aren't you guys supposed to be a partnership? And here we Absolutely. are in a generation where everybody's like, no gender rules, no gender rules. But as soon as it gets down to paying something, it's like, he better pay for that. Like, why? <laughs> I need us to make up our mind. I don't know. What, what right. do you guys think? No, I agree with you. I've been married for 35 years. And, you know, I don't think, I don't know how you could stay with somebody that long and they pay for everything. You know, <laughs> you need to pay for everything. And, you know, that's just ridiculous. I, I just, yeah. what were some of the, the complaints that people were having? The complaints people were having were, first of all, they were judging their marriage. I don't know what happens in people's marriages, right? right? But they're judging, oh, you know, they've had some issues or, you know, he should. the least he could do is pay for everything. How is a man paying for everything, taking up for any issues y'all have? I don't even know how that connects. <laughs> you know what right. I mean? And then they're talking about, um, what else were they saying? They were saying because he's so rich. But I mean, like, she's also wealthy. So right. what do you do in a marriage where you both are wealthy? Right. You just still put it on him? I mean, right. I don't get right. where that comes yeah. from. I mean, I mean, to me, it, it just... It, it ain't talking about their personal feelings towards one another. It's all just on the outside. Again, I'm, obviously, I think when it comes to the partnerships, is what's just going to come is just, yeah, whatever they're going to be talking about when it comes to their finances and what they sp spend on. But for me, I think it's just, you know, if that's their dynamic, that is their dynamic. Everybody's dynamic is different. Yeah, and people are mind their damn business. It, you know, and, and, right. Yeah, but you know, when you when you say that, then everybody, well, she told us. Right. You yeah, know. but you know, right, that so now they feeling that's what bothers and, me, though, about the whole comments and stuff. She put that up there on her page, on her site. And yeah, you can leave comments and stuff, but just because you left a comment don't make it right. That's true. Just because yeah. you saying it don't make it right. That's that woman's business. It's Let's not slow. your maybe. It's not your place to then I judge get, them. To judge them, yeah. If that's how they live, and then that's how they live, and it's working for them. Yeah, I mean, to me, it just seems like you know you start to limit yourself when it comes to that. Just thinking at that moment in time as well, it's just like, what if you come across somebody that had like that that does everything, but you know he want like. Maybe he wants to do 50-50 or, you know, you make more than him. But it's just like, well, you're going to shut that down because, oh. I think a lot of people will shut that down, that actually. Is, well, I think a lot I of people do. But I remember when I was working, your dad and I, we had just got married. Like, maybe we were married like three years or whatever. I was working two jobs. I was trying to finish school. 
I was working at the high school teaching drama. Mm-hmm. And I was working two jobs. I was making more than him, but I was working mm-hmm. two jobs. Yeah. And you know what? We would just come home and put put the money, put the bills on the table, put the money on the table. Even if my money was more than his, it didn't matter. We was paying bills. I think what I just wish is that I feel like I love that we're in a time now where we're removing the gender rules. And I want us to continue to go down that path. And the reason why is because I want us all to be able to find our partners. And what you need, somebody else might not need. And what you want is what somebody else may not want. It's about fitting your lifestyle. And I think if we could focus more on fitting our lifestyle and not trying to go and abide by what social media standards are, I mean, that's half the problem is people are hearing how other people are living and what's working for other people. And then they want to attribute that to a standard of what is a good marriage, what is a good relationship right. what is a good life and then you end up living somebody else's life and not being happy at all and you know what's good when you find up somebody that loves you that respects you that makes you feel good that enhances your life screw the money that's you know what I, I mean? Uh, you yeah. know, it's not I mean, about- unless you guys are like, you know, you, you guys got to figure it out. I don't want you out on the streets, but other than that. <laughs> okay, guys, I want to take some calls on this and see what you guys got to say on the topic. So we're starting with your fave Libra, 83. She's balanced. Miss Mama's is a Libra. Let's see what she's talking about. How you doing, girl? Kiki! What is up? <laughs> so we are talking about Gabby and Dwayne and the whole 50-50 in dating. I'm curious as to what you think about it. You know, are, are you with Gabby on it or do you need a man to drop drop every dime? Um, I'm, I was never one to want a man to drop every dime. I'm, I'm a lover. So if we, oh. if we have this connection, the money to me is like behind me. Like, yeah, it's nice to, you know, have a man to take care of you. You definitely want... And this works both ways. You definitely want somebody you who you feel secure with. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, yeah, security is is a big thing. But yeah, I'm I'm with Gabby. You know, we could do we could we could split it. Is there any um, is there any want... way in particular where you draw the line? Like, is there one thing where it's like, okay, I need the guy to have this, or I need my partner yeah. to have this? I think when people say, oh, you know, we need to be equally yoked, I think that's got a lot of caveats to it. I <laughs> <laughs> I think he would definitely need to have, um, we talking specifics, you need to have your own car. Okay. Uh, okay. You need to have, you need to have your own place. You need to get around. You know? Unless we're in New York, I can maybe let that pass if we're in a transport yeah. city. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but yes, just, you know, what I have, you know, match me a little bit, you know. Now that I love. Uh, that's actually really good. I love that you yeah. said that because a lot of times people be like, I need this and then and it's like, girl, but you at the crib with your mama. You know, <laughs> so you I, I, I love to match what I've got. Now that's T right there. Very much. Yeah. That's what I got. You guys, I'm so, so glad. It's crazy because I was just on your live. I'm starting I- it off topic. I was just on your live <laughs> and you said join and because I listen to you all the time, me and my daughter oh my on God. my way to work. And I said, live, am. Hold on, I hope I ain't got to pay for this, Kiki, because <laughs> money kind of, money kind of You don't try to keep it clear for y'all. my folks. <laughs> I said, oh, hold on, I don't got to pay for nothing. And then you said, we're going to do live calls. I said, I don't even know how to do this. So <laughs> put my mic on, and you chose me. Look at God. Look, Look at God, God, girl. I saw a preacher. What, what was your Look name? Because I know you as a Libra, but what's your name? My name is Dana. Dana. Okay, like Queen Latifah. Yes. Well, it yes, was wonderful girl. to talk to you, Dana. And please tell your baby girl that I said, what's up? Hey, Kiki. <laughs> Take care, you baby. You guys have a wonderful day. You too. I actually really like but. that perspective. You got to match what I have. That, that's actually really yeah. cool. Because I do think that, uh, you know, you both... At some, like somehow, somewhere, have some type of like standards as well. I have some type of like common yeah. ground as well. Hey, you got what I got. It's it's like we got a bit of a foundation, and you know, I'm not like it's like we're almost at the same level in regards to just where we're at as well. It's just like yeah. you guys are able to it, move together. I think it's fair. I yeah. think it's fair. It's fair to to at least ex, you know expect some level of that of that equalism. I made something up with equalism, but I want to move on <laughs> to another topic. I want to move on to another topic and. I want to talk to you guys about YWN Melly, okay? YWN mm. Melly, he's a rapper, right? And I think he was arrested maybe like five years ago, you know, in between that time, um, for murder. They believe that he's, he he committed murder. And he's this is a young guy. He's younger than where, me. Where is he from? Where is where, where is YWN Melly from? I'm not exactly sure where he's from. Do you know Darius where, where he's from? You want to Google it up? I'm going to pull that up right now. We'll find out in, in just a few short seconds from my good old AI device. Uh, but... Make a long story short, the reason why I wanted to talk about him was because we're in this time now where, as a rapper, you can truly go to jail for your lyrics. You can go to jail for your lyrics. You can go to jail for your crimes. But we don't know 
we rarely know which is which, right? right? Like sometimes people are just using things as a gimmick, you know, where it's I like think, I don't think that's fair either. I don't think it's fair for you to go to court and then the prosecutor pulls out your lyrics. <laughs> Yeah, he's from I mean, Florida. That's being he's creative. from Florida. Why do you mean Melly's from Florida? You're being creative. You're using hyperbole. You're using. I mean, we don't know what they're rapping about is actual truth. So I think that's kind of crazy. That's- uh, I mean, I actually, um, <laughs> I actually did uh, when I was googling. I did see the song "Murder on My Mind." I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. Song. It's a very aggressive song, and I mean. And yeah, he's in court. I don't know this young man, but he's in court blowing kisses at. Uh, the the deceased family yeah. um and it and and i saw i was reading the comments because you know i try to see what what's really going on what really happened that evening in chris wood's death um that's not chris woods that was a that was an old reference some of y'all may have get it some of y'all may not but um <laughs> <laughs> that you know that newscaster that was like what shit flying in my mouth he initially was like what really happened that evening in chris wood's death oh! Piling in my mouth. Piling. Anyway, had to break it up with some. (laughs) Exactly. The fuck is that? Shit. Shit flying in my mouth. The fuck. I can't see piling. Let's get the fuck out of this country, motherfucker. That is so iconic. Anyhow, back to the real tea. Um, You know, a lot of people were saying that when he was a young kid, Uh he was put in a crazy house. And he apparently had, you know, was, uh, they said he had bipolar disorder. And this happened to him when he was very, very young. Mm -hmm. And so that brings me to an even deeper conversation of Mm -hmm. how do we help our kids, right? When it comes to them, when we see these young people, we're talking 18, 19, 20, they're murderers. We've, we, I've killed 10 people. You know, I've killed, I mean, we have people in my city of Chicago. We have young henchmen. I mean, they. They could be like 15 and already got 10 lives under their belt. Yeah. How much of that is mental health disorder? Because when you think about the fact that you're in a city where everybody's got a gun, people mm-hmm. are, th- I mean, we even see, got they even gun. tried to commercialize the conversation on a show like All American where, right. do you know how scary it's got to be for somebody to threaten your life and you're only 15? Yeah, it, it, yeah. It's spooky. Like, you know, you have someone just randomly talking to you be like, yeah, so I'll just watch out if I were you. And it's like, dang, hold on, At what's that, that point, supposed to mean? You don't know right. if they plan, I, so what you mean? You gonna water gummy or it, you gonna really beep beep? Exactly. I mean, it can get spooky, so I, 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 I wonder how much of them are, how much is it that people are just living in fear and then they react out of their young mind of how to survive this kind of thing? It's a lot of that. Yeah, I think it is out of survival. I think <sighs> that, you know, we definitely do succumb. A lot of people, you know, it, 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 obviously there's so many categories that we could just succumb to just the practicality of this world and just, you know, oh, this happened here. And so it's, yeah, survival instinct starts kicking yeah. in. So this is just what it is. So obviously a lot of these upbringings, um, especially like lower class communities where it's either life or death for me now. Now, Legitimately. now, now that I step out. What do you feel out. about it? Do you feel he should be helped? or? So I don't know him so well. I'm trying to learn about it too. Yeah, yeah, I don't know him that much. I know him from his music. He seemed, he, he was talented. You know, I would get into the grooves and then I found out about this. And so I really started digging in deep and just trying to figure out mm-hmm. It was, it was almost the same thing with NBA Youngboy. I saw this incredible interview with NBA Youngboy on Billboard, I think it was. Yeah. And he was like, you know, I realized that there's so many kids that have this gone around. Yeah, it was me trying to do it. I was all right. <laughs> I, was I, was to, I was trying to give a performance. Um, he was like, you know, I, I, I try to figure out how many people done listen to my music riding around and they end up hurting people. Mm. And I don't know how I can ever, re- you know, repay that but that's something that is going to take time for me to figure out how to undo and then up on the screen it came up that his music has been listened to by over a billion people yeah Yeah, so he was Uh, and he he, understanding the enormity of that he was understanding the impact of his music and it's sad right because how much of that is obviously him just sharing his reality right because that's what music is you're sharing your reality how responsible are you to be to express your reality but then understand the impact of how your reality can Pay, you know, yeah. have on and, someone and, else. And, you know, in that conversation, obviously, hip hop has been around for I think they're celebrating over fifty years of it. And I remember when you know Snoop Dogg, they were interviewing Snoop Dogg, and they were talking like, "Why do you always say bitches in your music? Why, you know, you're putting women down?" And he pretty much said, "I'm not putting women down. I'm not calling my mother a bitch, but there are some bitches out there." <laughs> That's valid. Uh, you, you know, it, it, <laughs> That's what he said, pretty much. it starts making me like. 
you know, when you watch these these shows or you listen to your parents when they say, I, I hope you're not listening to that shit. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I can see why they're saying it. Obviously, the message is like, you know, we, we're not really understanding the, the ramifications as to why they're saying it. And the way they're just telling us is, is it such like a broad structure statement where it's just like you're, you're saying it kind of in a mean way. So I still kind of want to listen to it because, you know, <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not necessarily listening to what you're telling me right now. and then, But it makes sense as to why. And I think that's twofold, right? I think it's right. like, raise your kids best as you can. Right. You know? You know, at the end of the day, I, you know, we can't blame every outside source. Right. Obviously, that is an impact, but we have to take some accountability, some responsibility for ourselves. Yeah. And then the other part of this conversation that for me is just like, how do we... Help enough lift. Even when you, 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 you want to talk about uh, John Morant. Yes. Um, you want to explain to sharing what happened with that? Because we were talking about that the other day. Yeah. Um, so first J- tell me who that is. Yeah, John Morant, he's a, he's a he's big NBA star. Um, one of the top five, some say top Kids three. Kids love him. Top three players. Very, very impactful place for the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, that He's been getting in trouble the last, uh, yeah, this last year. He's just been getting in trouble by the NBA uh, just because he's been on Instagram Live, just flashing his gun, uh, pointing the gun at the camera, showcasing it. And obviously they 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 see that as such, such as a bad look and bad influence that they have now suspended him. He just um, They just suspended him for 25 games for this upcoming season now. So mm-hmm. he's now in that situation. And yeah. like I said, this is... Yeah, this well, is a- pe- people don't understand. And, you know, even, you know, Kiki's been in the business for a long time. But something I learned very early on with her career mm-hmm. is that all these brand, all these companies, ABC, everybody, they have morality cl- clauses. They do. Yeah. And if you do anything that that they feel is anti their brand, they can fire you on the spot. I mean, that's in all the contracts. Yeah. I mean, that's why some people don't like working with big corporations. That's definitely, uh, you know, something that you have to think about. But, you know, it, it does make sense. But I remember when you and I were talking about it, we were talking about these things, NBA Young Boy, YWN Melly, and just kind of what's happening in our world right now and how yeah. it might even be more useful for somebody like John Morant to really speak to why he felt like he had to do that. Because yeah. let's think about it. There is also the reality that someone like John Morant is a millionaire. He walks around with chains on his necks. Are you afraid? You know why? What, what is this? What is what? Where? What is this? How much of this is I want to be cool, and how much of this is I want? I don't want people to attack me, or I'm trying to appear strong. Yeah. You know, I think it, our, I think some of our young yeah. black men are really under That's a lot a of pressure. Real unique it, way to look at seriously, it. Yeah. because I think they're under a lot of pressure of trying to trying not to be killed. Yeah, it, it could, <laughs> on every level, from police, from their homeboys, from their and to the point where they like, I'm gun right. toting everywhere. Right. Yeah. yeah I because think, it's. Worrisome. Did, did he speak out on it? He didn't speak he, out. This he, is he me did, just he wondering. He did just put out oh, an, a, a, like an apology statement, like probably like 15 minutes ago. Pretty much just apologizing, and just saying, you know, moving forward, he wants to, uh, you know, he's going to try to prove that he's a, he's going to be a better person, a better example for the kids. So um, he I did come out with that he statement. Didn't do it, though. It but, might be I mean, I think I think our young, a lot of our young men are really under a lot of stress. Well, well yeah. I know. I'm going to tell you this: when you were talking about the the rapper, I, I didn't know who he was. I, the story is fascinating, but I immediately thought of the Chicago rapper Juice World. And when he died, how de- very upset your brother was. Yeah, yeah. he was. You know, I have a 21-year-old son. He loved his world. He was very sad. And yeah. then I talked to other parents, and they said their kids were sad, too. Yeah. So that young man, with his music, was X, X, tapping into X, a lot of young men that X, was feeling like it. XX Tentacion as well. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly. Tentacion. Tentacion. Yeah. A lot of people also, you know, he those two guys also spoke to a lot of what we're talking about, which is the rage, the hurt, the depression, yes. the hardships they yes. felt as young black men living in the world where they, they're not ever strong enough. And if they do, then they're a thug. And it, just trying to figure out how to grapple. So yeah. they spoke to a lot of those really emotional places that a lot of these, you know, people like Thinker, you know, Thinker's sensitive. He doesn't know how to always express those things, but those rappers were really important because they they, they, they were spoke about that stuff. I, I think sometimes, too, uh, what a lot of young brothers deal with, it, whenever they have to, like, they they somehow get challenged or questioned oh, yeah. if they ever go into the opposite direction. Hey, I'm not trying to go ahead and live that kind of life. So they want to go ahead and try to carry themselves with, with a little bit more class and professionalism. And then that's when they start going ahead and get challenged on who they are. It's like, well, who actually are you? Because right. they, people like to go ahead and remind them what? where they came that's from. Right. And it's like, yeah, you know, that, that that's that's the life I'm choosing to go ahead and live, though. I'm not I'm yeah, not trying but, to go ahead and live. Stereotypes, yeah. You're a black guy. You should not be listening to ACDC. Or, <laughs> you know I mean, remember, Darius, you said you met, you dated this one girl, she was not black, and she talking about something, you really don't act like a black guy. Man. 
<laughs> She's a full on Chicana telling me that. I was like, girl, wait. wait. <laughs> Well, okay, guys, we're going to take a break. And then I want to pose the question to you guys. What do you think about the current state of just you know, our music and our influence and how it's affecting our young men and, and just the overall mental health of trying to grapple with what's going on in the world? I know I know it's a lot, but we got to talk about this stuff. So we'll get back into it. Baby, this is Kiki Palmer. So as we were talking about before the call, you know, we're talking a little bit about WYN Melly, NBA Youngboy, um, you know, uh, John Morant, the impact of just, you know, not only hip hop music, but ultimately like what our young black men are struggling with and how that relates to uh, some of the gun violence that we've been seeing and, and, and really what the state is of their mental health. And so I'm just posing the question to you guys, you know, how do we help and support our young men uh, and, and, and help them before throwing them away into the system um, and not really actually understanding how to actually fix the source of the problem. So taking some calls. Let me see who we want to take a call from. Let's see mm -hmm. if we have a young man on the line. Okay, we got that. Terrence who joined us. Hey, Terrence, you've been listening to what we've been talking about? Yes, I have. It's such a great conversation. Um, I love your podcast. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect you. to get answered. Um, <laughs> yes, I feel like our music and what we listen to culturally is like, it's important to us. But sometimes I think, I don't know, I think our, you have to be careful with what you listen to and what you digest. That's right. Because it can be hurtful. It can be subconsciously draining without you knowing, especially for our youth. Like, it's hard mm -hmm. sometimes. How do you personally yeah. feel, you know, as a black man, just like, you know, in the world right now, like the whole gun thing, do you have a gun? Do you feel like you need one? Like, what's your response to that? And when you see um, kind of like what we're dealing with right now with the whole John Morant thing and just also what we're dealing with, you know, in America as black people, you know, and so many black men dying, like, does that affect you on a day to day at all or no? I think it, I think it's telling of America and what America is as a whole. Like the the even needing of a gun to protect yourself is so. I don't think we think about it enough. Oof. It's it's. I, I mean, we do, but it's it's not. It's normalized. I don't feel like mm. it's not acted on enough. As mm -hmm. like, why do you need protection? Why do you feel like you need protection from the world with a gun with something that's so deadly and Oof. so harmful? Why do you feel that you need to? protect yourself in a way that could take someone else's life. That's terrifying to think about. It is. Um, it is. It is. Yeah. Man, Terrence, I like what you just said right there because uh, last year we were in France and we came across some locals out there and then we were interacting mm -hmm. with them and they were they found out we were from America and they straight up asked the honest question. They're like, so is it, is, is it true what you guys – is it true about you guys? We're like, what? You guys have guns? And I'm like, wow. Like, <laughs> yeah, really? like, like this is fresh on your guys' mind out here that we're just, we're just the wild, wild west. I think the thing with America is we very much so sensationalize within our own country, other we people's do. countries, right? We're like, that's a third yes. world country. They, can you believe they beheaded that man? And we don't realize that over there, that's what George Floyd's killing looked like. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That yeah. might as yeah. well have been a beheading in right. the Middle East. Right. So yep. I think we don't often realize that. So when we do go out and go to other countries, arrogance. Yeah. yeah, and delusion. Yeah. <laughs> because it's like, yep. child, you look crazy as hell to us. That man walked up to us like, you guys have g -g -g guns. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> I was like, damn, that's yeah. really the real response that's to right. something like that. We've oh, been so desensitized. That is such a good point about how so we So desensitized at, yeah. to it. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate you 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 weighing on this, on this topic, Terrence. I wish you nothing but the best, and thank you for calling into the show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all have an amazing day. You too. Take care of yourself, brother. I didn't even think about that. Man. About how we're looked at. Yeah. And, and, you, and that did look like a, a horrific thing. It looked like a beheading. That's, that is That's the, right. essentially what it was. But, what we saw on live television is what went around the world and the world and the world, and they were like, yeah. America allowed this. Right. Wow, that's a scary country. Right. Yeah, no, honestly, it's it's crazy cuz we we go through social media and then you see a, you see a video of like a, of a country in Africa doing like a public stoning, right? Right. 
And we're like, oh, wow, what's going on? Meanwhile, there was just a school shooting just like two days exactly. ago. That's it's like, right. Exactly. We Who are we look- to look at that stoning? But we just had this going on over That's here. Right. Speaking yeah. of stonings, we got to look in the backyard like they be saying in the Bible and get your own stuff right. Get right. your own backyard. We, we got to get our backyard right. <laughs> but we start talking about other people's backyards. Yeah. Um, yeah. Speaking of backyards, this is not really an actual transition, but I just wanted to <laughs> that say that. Good, I like that. Speaking, speaking of backyards. I just wanted to say, speaking of backyards, <laughs> there's no topic I have on backyards. But... <laughs> Let's talk about Megan Good and Jonathan Majors. Oh. Y'all know that's the tea. Y'all know we're going to talk about it because everybody has been in a frenzy. Yes. Um, so they're now engaged. Really? I'm just fucking with y'all. Oh, <laughs> and I, I just my jaw done dropped when I heard that. I was like, that went super fast. Whoa. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> She pregnant? What's going on here? Sharon, <laughs> let's die. They about, this is We're when the rumor start starts. We're going to start all the rumors. Exactly. Right. Yes. <laughs> so Robert Richard, who worked with her on... Um, Cousin, my cousin Skeeter. He also Robert Shot. I live for you know he was in Big Boss yes. in the in the in the album and movie yes. in the movie I just did for my album. Check it out if you haven't gotten a chance to. Robert is awesome, but he yes. spoke. They asked him about Megan Good in the interview, and he was like, "Megan is a wonderful woman. She's smart. She, you know she she knows the Lord. I don't yes. think we have to worry about her." Yes. And I love that. And but 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 what what it made me think about was how do you enter a relationship with someone that has a past. Right? Mm -hmm. Because we always are talking about give people a chance and everybody deserves a second chance and people can change and X, Y, and Z. But I mean, where do you draw the line? When, when, When is someone's past deeming to you making them unworthy of love? Because I think a lot of people are judging her on the fact that he X, Y, and Z. Well, my first question is how do we know when they even met each other? You know what I mean? Mm. She could have met him. You know, everyone's in the acting world and they're at yeah. different levels in their careers. Yeah. She could have met that man 10 years ago. We don't yeah. know when, when she met him. Yeah. I um For me, it, it's... I do believe in second chances. I do believe in forgiveness. I think yeah, we, we're, we're taught to forgive as well. Uh, however, I like... The person yeah, that... However. <laughs> wow, we're getting to the real part now. <laughs> However, when it comes to that person that we're we're, we're we're looking to give a second chance, we're looking to go ahead and forgive. Um, we do we should see some type of process. We should see some type of development. You know, some some them practicing on that. You know, yeah. if, if 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 he's now been. If he's just taking a step back, we haven't really heard from him. He hasn't said anything just because he's just doing some personal you know, work. Per- maybe personal yeah. work. You know, maybe maybe then that is that is now his redemption story and. Megan Good just happens to be the girl he's coming across during this moment in time, and she's seeing that in him as well. So the purse or the last time we didn't see Jonathan Majors in, in, in you know, making front headlines has from from awful news. So that that's just our last impression of him. Yeah, but maybe he he's been doing Christian work. Woman. But maybe he's he just got a Christian woman. Yeah, I think it's a hard line, right? It is, right. especially yeah. as a Christian person, because I yeah. think. You know, it's built in us to give people chances. But I'll never forget, I saw this crazy episode of, what is it? It was Fatal Attraction or, oh, For My Man. For My Man. It was that show. Honey, if you haven't, get into For My Man. You can't watch too much of it at once because you'll start looking at your man like. (laughs) 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 But For My Man is this. this I start looking at Darius like. You know, so it's like I for told Larry, uh, hell no, I would, <laughs> I would not be killing, but I would kill for my kids though. Right, I would, I would murder for my kids. So on for my man, it was this woman that I had ended up finding this this story about this woman who, you know, she had three kids, you know, she was, you know, found this man, her father, they was all very, there was, these were church, you know, folks. Yeah. And um, her husband, her father met her husband, you know, because sometimes preachers will go and they'll speak in the, to the prisons. You know, yeah. my dad's done that many times. Yes. And um, apparently the father said, this is a, this is a reverse criminal. Yeah. I've talked to him when we, when he was in jail, this is a good man and thought that it was great to encourage his daughter to date him. Uh-oh. The, oh, Richard. The man not only tried to kill her, but killed all of her kids. Uh, uh, it was crazy, you guys. Uh, and I'm like, oh my gosh. So it's like, how do you know when? I mean, like, I mean, obviously, yeah. this is an extreme case. Yeah. God bless that family. But it's like, as a person that's you know, loving and forgiving and you want to give people a chance, it's like, how do you know when the red flags is too deep? And before it's too late. That's a tough yeah. one. You know? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think you do have to pray. I mean, I'm I'm religious as well. Um, I just think you have to pray and ask God to guide you in those situations. Yeah. But I just, when you have children, oh my goodness, when you have children, yeah. you have to be so very careful. You know, especially if you're a single woman, and you're even if you're a single man and you're dating, you got to be very careful 
who you introduce to your kids. Right. It's so true. Like, that's why when I get my new man, I'm going to be careful, <laughs> Darius. I promise. I'm not going to have... <laughs> <laughs> Your life will be on For My Man, like, then. Like, there'll be a new episode of For My Man if that's the case. <laughs> you mean Snap, the man version. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about another relationship situation before we get into our game and get out of here is uh, Summer Walker. Oh. My girl Summer Walker, she's not afraid to love. Baby girl said, I'm loving, I'm loving hard each time. She goes, and I love that for her. Down, yeah, I love that for her, her because yeah, she never lets her heart, heart get cold. Yeah. Um, however... I guess the current guy that she's dating, is uh, Lil Meech, young man, is starring in, um, you know, BMF. BMF. Uh, they've been dating for a little while. We've been seeing the posts online. It looks like it's a lot of fun. Apparently, his chain ended up on the neck of some other chick. Uh-oh. And we've seen in the past couple of days that she's been DMing, or she had DMed the young woman about, you know, how you know my man, what, what you was doing with my man, you so know, blah, 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 blah. It's goes, public. Okay. I don't think she cares. I don't think Summer cares. But I want to ask you guys, how far would you go to see what's happening with your significant other and somebody else they could be dealing with? Would you actually reach out? Would you go to your person directly? Would you do both? How far would you be willing to go in that scenario? Yeah, for, I'm very direct, so I'll go directly. Come on, Aquarius. I, 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 <laughs> I, I do not want that internal gut feeling to be sitting because that will lead me to just not eat. I'll be depressed. <laughs> I'm not motivated. If I just know, dang, the person. He's so dramatic. If, 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 uh. Is my significant other really, other really doing me wrong? So, so yeah, you would come to me. I would for sure come straight up. You to wouldn't you. go to the. You wouldn't like, hey, brother, what's up? They have you, wouldn't, no you wouldn't give him hello, Shirley. Yeah, no, they they have nothing to do with it. If anything, I mean, because I could. Here's the thing: I already have the anticipation that okay, there's a lot of people that's gonna continuously knock on your door. I mean, that that's just my yeah yeah just, just natural yeah. thought process on, on on you already. So it's just Period. it's just a matter of you know he got a cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now my get two carried away. <laughs> but uh, no, yeah, that makes total sense. But so that that being said, it's just like you know, I I honestly now hold you to a standard of like okay, just just keep that door locked, you know, because the minute you open that door to somebody, I'm gonna be looking that's at you right. as to why you let this person in. So. That's right. And yeah. I feel the exact same way that you do. First of all, I'm a Virgo. We never let anybody <laughs> think that they've got the upper hand on us. Say Girl, that, who wait a minute. Say it, say Absolutely it. not. Say that. I Absolutely yeah. not. I would never yes. go to. Yes. I don't have it in me, in me to do that. You know, Miss Mamas, I don't, you could be with the man. I'm still not addressing you. Right. So yeah. I would absolutely, if I felt any inkling of uncertainty with my partner, I'm just going to go to my partner directly. Now, Having said that, I know you agree with me, Sharon, so I'm going to flip the question inside out. What if somebody comes to you about your partner? Ooh. Ooh, Lord. Are you going to believe that person? Are you going to uh, entertain the conversation? Or are you going to just... You know what? what? Well, okay, I'm a Virgo. Okay, so. <laughs> Get into I it, I love guess. how they come in and say, I'm a, I'm a Virgo. Too. I'm a Virgo, too. <laughs> it sets so, the stage. you know what? I, I will never say never. I'm never, you know, I, I think We're practical is beings. capable of anything. Okay? That's right. Your dad's a good man. We've been together, but, I, you know, I'm not going to never say he <laughs> never cheated on me because <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, I concern myself with myself. And as long as he was coming home and taking care of home and doing what he needed to do, I wasn't going to rack my brain about whether he was going with Sister Jones or whatever. <laughs> Sister Jones. At the church, okay? But, uh, <laughs> oh, my like gosh. My mom on the floor. But, but I would go, I think, if it, if someone came to me and said, well, I seen your man down there. Yeah, I'm, it's, let's do it. Sharon? Yes. Well, look, Sharon, I called you. Um, I don't want to interrupt and interfere in your home mm -hmm. but it's getting really tiring to me and it's come to a point where i have to let you know your husband loves me and i love you okay husband. you can stop right there <laughs> oh. you can stop right there oh. <laughs> because your my husband loves you how do you feel that he loves you well he's with me every night mm -hmm. he comes over here you know he tells me that he's only with you for optics mm -hmm. and he helps me pay for my house mm -hmm. you know and we've been together for the last two years mm. Mm -hmm. okay all right well all i can tell you is my bills are paid everything so he must be a very good man because he's able to take care of two households so uh as long as i'm not suffering uh <laughs> we all good sweetie and then when he comes to the door i'm saying you know your, your woman called me you know, but I actually had something like that happen. <laughs> no, Sharon, tell me. This is good. We're getting an exclusive. We've, we've got an exclusive. Right now. A Sharon Palmer exclusive. Ding, 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 ding. I did not have a, a woman call me. I had. This is uh, so funny. I, my sister, you know, my I have a twin sister. Come on, twin and sister. So she was telling me, um, you know, your new. Your, we weren't married at the time we were dating. He's like, 
She was like, you know, your new guy, Larry, you know, I saw him behind John's uh, gambling. Not John's. Yeah, Come on, John. <laughs> behind John's. Behind John's. There's a store in Chicago. It's like a. I saw him in the alley, and it was a lot of people around there, and there's a lot of gang people, a lot of women, and you know, you need to watch him because he's not who you think he is. Oh, she hit you and with I the not who like, he He's not who I think he is. Okay. So that did bother me, and I went to him, and I said, Were you gambling behind John's? And he was like, Yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> my dad does not lie. It's giving he's Abraham not, Lincoln. He, he says I was gambling. He said, but I was with my brothers. And he said, if if you are gonna question everything that I'm doing, if you're gonna listen to not what this other Aries people shit are doing, he brought yeah, to the he table. Came very Aries oh my gosh, they're me. so irritating. He came very Aries on me, and he says, if you're gonna listen to everything people say, he's like, but you know, I was with my brothers. We were having fun, and I, I don't know who you think I am. But, you know, I'm a good person and I, I just, you know, I'm a real good person. And, you know, I don't know what your sister has against me, but I love her, too. And I said, you love my sister? He says, yes, I love everybody in your family because they made you who you are. And I'm going to work real hard for your sister to be able to trust me. Wow. And I was like, I'm going to marry him. <laughs> now, I mean, now, my dad's great. Now, Shane, Shane, you know I would not be behind no... <laughs> he does an impression of my dad, and it's so <laughs> wait, funny. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, go ahead. Now, Shane, you know, I, I ain't going to be messing around behind your back and none of that. You know, I'm, 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 I'm loyal to you. I love you. You're my wife. You don't have my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Not you being long, young Not Larry. Me. I know okay, y'all do me. Wait a minute. I know, I so you do Larry. You me. do Larry and I'll do Sharon. They uh, never get me right, but go Larry, ahead. are you ready to go? We need to get ready to go. You know the kids is waiting on us. <laughs> Hold on, Sharon. Hold on. I got to get my shoes on. Got to get my stuff ready. <laughs> Larry, you always... Why you got to move like a turtle? I always got to tell you to hurry on up, Larry. I told you to get ready two hours ago. Yeah. I, I, done, I done had my drinks. I done try to get comfortable, <laughs> yeah. and I'm going to be having you in my ear. <laughs> that was I can't believe how I'm you do my telling, dad. I'm always That's crazy, hurry Darius. Up. Yeah, so. Okay, you guys, I'm going to play this song. And coming out of this, I want to try to take a call before we get into a game. So if you have anything to say on the topic about love, relationships, and... Letting a lady come to you or a man come to you about your significant other. Maybe you have a story to tell us. I don't know. You let me know. But I'm taking calls right after this. Talk to you guys in a sec. Baby, this is, this is Kiki. Steve Lacey, he's so fabulous, you guys. I want him to sing at our wedding, Darius. Let's go ahead and book him. I think it would be so good if we had the lineup of, of Elder Barge. We started out with Elder Barge. Yes. You know what I mean? He's yes. everything. I met him when I was 16. It changed my life. I live for L. We have L play um, all this love. Okay. All the, this yep. Love. Then we go to Steve Lacey or Steve Rex Lacey. Orange County. Maybe Rex comes first. Rex can come ahead and come through. And yeah. then we do Steve Lacey, yeah. and then we end on Frank Ocean. Frank all Ocean, right? Yeah. yeah you heard it here first. Don't try to get tickets to the wedding. That's probably about. This is know, not a festival. About, <laughs> it's about, it's that's it's, half the wedding budget. It's, it's, it's a chunky change right there. Some chunky money that's going to be spent, and that's, that's going to be going to the music. We, we <laughs> guys, we we're just taking um, calls uh, about the last thing we were talking about, which was relationships. We were talking about if you, what would you do, uh, like Summer Walker, if you think your man might be stepping out, or your girl might be stepping out, or your they them might be stepping out. What are you going to do? Are you going to reach out to the person they could be stepping out with, or what would you do if somebody approaches? you and your partner uh, about what's been going down on the other side. I'm going to take some calls if you have anything to say on the topic. Let's get into it. So let's see uh, Naturally Dope. I'm going to add Naturally Dope, and I'm going to add Tay the stylist. We're going to do two people this time. Ooh. Um, let's see what y'all got to talk about. Okay, so I'll say about um, the relationships and being approached. I actually agree with um, Darius. I would definitely check with my partner. Um, someone come to tell me something. Mm -hmm. In regards to my partner, and I will say this. I am a Pisces, so I'm a little crazy. Uh -oh. and Period. <laughs> <laughs> so if you tell it, my partner's telling me something, and those spotty senses is going off and it don't sound right, <laughs> then it's going to be, <laughs> hello, Shirley, this is Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love that. So you're giving, us, you're giving us double. If your partner makes themselves seem as if they're not trustworthy in that moment, you're going to go behind and see what's going on with Shirley then. Nice. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm not mad. What you got to say, Naturally Dope? Um, well, honestly, I feel, I understand, like, um, 
what Summer Walker did approaching the woman as well, because sometimes, you know, men will lie. But um, honestly, I feel like she should have approached him first. Well, we we don't know if she did or not because she didn't post it. But um, exactly. I feel like she should have posted. She um, shouldn't have posted her screenshot with the girl because at the end of the day, it seems like she was seeking clout. So, mm. okay, I well, like I like your POV. Have. You're you're saying if you are gonna go the route of of getting in contact with the girl, keep that shit on the low. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's and true. What, <laughs> and what do you expect to get from her? The truth, or what? By I think I think her, Summer Walker to me seems like a girl's girl, and I'm also a girl's girl. But let me tell you, there's a lot of girls out there that ain't for the girls. So you can really get in some trouble like that. <laughs> You can because a lot of girls aren't like for the girls. You know, they're like yeah. I've, I've been in many situations where I'm like, yes, girl, and kiki, 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 kiki. And that's, you know, it's like so and so told me. What and blah, blah, blah. Said. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. but girl, I thought we was having our girl moment. So mm-hmm. you don't, you know, I think ultimately what we're saying is that girl, you know, looked like she wasn't really a girl's girl like Summer Walker. For my man. It was given for my man. <laughs> okay, y'all. Thank you so much for joining the show and weighing in on the convo. I'll holler at y'all. All right. Enjoy your day. You too, baby. I'll, I'll actually ask you, Kiki. So what, if, if, if you was uh, the, the Jonathan Majors kind of situation where there's a high-profiled individual and, and you guys come across each other in, in a alternate universe, okay? <laughs> this is just alternate universe speaking. Okay, so yes. Yeah, so what, what, and, so and, 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 and we just know, like, the last... You know, last time we done heard of this particular individual, it was just in the headlines for all the wrong reasons. Give me an example of who the person is. Who, uh, like, name somebody that I'm all of a sudden in the headlines with. Uh, okay, okay, like, young Michael Ely, and and he, um, you know, he he was had, had a DUI incident. Okay, I mean, I mean a DUI incident that not necessarily killed somebody, but <laughs> did injure somebody. Uh, how many years ago was it in between that happening? It just happened just recently, like Jonathan Majors. It happened probably like, you know, a good five months ago. How long did I know him? Has he is he approaching me right now? You, that was my question. How yeah, I would say you you and Mike you 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 and Mike really worked on a project, I would say like, you know, seven years ago and seven years I've known this man. Seven years ago and and then ever since then, like, you know, yeah, here and there, checks in here and there, but not necessarily as And now he's going through a hard time? Going through a hard time in a hey. He's having an alcohol battle. Hey, I'm here for you. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, she's going to say that. <laughs> hey, Virgos are very nurturing, too. We wow. Very Michael. Wow. It's been so long since I talked to you. As I hate to see what's happening. I'm just reaching out. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I'm just reaching out. We also, we also have to that To see if you it. need somebody yeah. to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> we also have that fix it, too. Try to fix people. You're down on people. your luck. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, and, and what happens if you ever had a summer walker situation with me? Some girl was just like, "Yo, oh, just, just just so you know." And she's she, she was wearing like <laughs> my Eagles jersey. She's not even getting on the line with me. She not, I'm not talking to nobody. I don't care. She could be standing next to you in a picture. My name, I'm blind. <laughs> I'm Stevie Wonder to the bullshit, and I'm literally I'm gonna figure out the perfect. You know, way to address it in public and whatever that we going through is we talking about that in the closet. Like we uh. ain't nobody like it's on some like he's got a twin brother. Uh-huh. <laughs> like I'm not discussing but then, that. How, but then how are you going to react when people bring it to you? I saw your man or I saw that. And you know, people. Are gonna- and I saw your man. <laughs> I didn't want to bring it up, but since we're bringing it up, have you checked with him? <laughs> and then we'll laugh, and then we'll move on, because they know I'm not playing at that point. Exactly. Right. <laughs> you know oh, I there's mean? no breaking through this one. I would try to find out any dirt on any reporter I'm exactly. about to deal with well, like to my, bring that out if they're going to come at me. My mother used to say, you don't have to discuss your man or your money. Sometimes it's just like... You don't have to discuss your man or your money. And that's what kind of question limits. is that? What kind? Yes. You can't, I mean, at the end of the day, that's just... At that point, you're just trying to embarrass somebody. Right. Kind of. Yeah. I mean, hell. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I hate to come to an end with this, you guys. We're gonna have to do this more often. So fun. Be- yes. Before we get out of here, what we always do on Baby This is Kiki Palmer is we end the show with a fun little game. And of course we have a game, and this time we are playing Sorry to This Man. Uh, and it's going to be Kiki Edition. Now, Sorry to This Man is a game where um, you know, I ask you questions and you pretty much ultimately have to get them right. Uh, and if you don't get them right, then you'll say sorry to this man. But because this is Kiki's edition, <clears throat> it's a little different, right? Because yeah. you guys are going to both give me an answer and I'm going to choose the one that is most correct as it pertains to me. Okay. Who knows me the best? That's that's kind of the vibe. Are you guys ready for this? Mm-hmm. First of all, let me figure out 
Which one of y'all think y'all gonna win? I mean, it depends what kind on of it, 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 that? It, which one of y'all think y'all gonna win. I mean, it, it depends. <laughs> I'm from it, the Midwest. I don't know. It depends on the questions. On the questions, you know, because you, know, you have two different relationships. It's just two guys. different relationships. I mean, yeah. your mom, your mom, been with you your whole entire life, and yeah. you know, it's, it's yeah, obviously like, a lot of personal. I've, I've been with you like intimately, as as far as just behind closed like, the doors. We, I that. haven't slept with her since she was three years old. <laughs> right. <laughs> You guys. So, even then, we was really just sleeping. So it depends on the questions, if you ask me. <laughs> sure, are we. Right. The baby came from a from a from a bird. Oh, okay, okay, good. <laughs> okay, so you guys are ready, right? Yeah. Now yes. the rules of the game are clear. You're trying to get the right answer as it pertains to me, but the way that you guys are going to get called on first is you got to say your name first, right? So yes. when I ask the question, whoever says their name sure. first, yep, yep. they got get it. the they get to answer first, um, and I'll see which one is the most correct because. I feel like you guys' answers are going to be like in the same stratosphere. So this is going to be difficult. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, first question is, what do I do to decompress from a long day at work? Darius. Y'all said this shit at the same time. Okay. Well, he can go first. Okay, go ahead, Darius. To decompress after a long... Day of work. Day of work. Now, you wasn't ready? You, you said Darius before having yeah, an answer ready? Okay. <laughs> what you usually do, you like to... Uh, you, you, you honestly... Sit down oh, on the couch. Yeah, you you timed Sorry out, to sir. This man. You timed out. It's a routine. Out. It's a routine. You no, you timed out, D. Go ahead, Mama. He timed out. I, I know you love reality TV, so maybe you come in and turn on some reality TV. Process. Sharon is somewhat right. It's a process. I'm gonna give you a chance. I'm gonna family feud it. I'm gonna give you a chance okay. to get get it more correct. Okay. But she is somewhat right. Yes. Go ahead and go. You you. It's a process. <laughs> she gets in. She sits down real quickly. Debriefs. Takes her takes her face off. Gets in the shower. Dances down. Darius, and, you're and wrong. Watch. What? Sorry to this man. You know that that's not true. <laughs> and Sharon's going to win this. The reason why is because the first thing I do when I get home to decompress is I watch TV. It's what I do every time. It's what I did. It's, I never watch my face first. My face is always last. I always come back and we watch TV just like we did yesterday. What I did, I came home, I sat on the, the couch one. and watched TV. You, you know this. You know this. Not Sharon saying no, she's going to let you. Just, just, just so you know, just you know, you'll never win that. So. Makes sense. No, mom, he will win if he was right. You really, you really won that. I'm not okay. trying to let well, you win. You, um, so second one is what word or phrase do I say the most? Darius. Uh-oh. Phrase. Oh, oh, you said, oh, Darius. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I do say Darius a lot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Go, babe. You said what word or phrase or just phrase? What word or phrase? Girl. Sharon, would you like to rebuttal that? Um, what word or phrase do you say all the time? Uh, oh, you say so much. Darius wins. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do say girl. I say it so much, I say girl to him. Yeah, she calls me girl <laughs> yeah. sometimes. Okay. Okay, that was good. Third, what is my biggest pet peeve? Sharon. Disloyalty. She went deep with it. There's 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 <laughs> somewhat truth there. Yeah. There's somewhat truth to that. I'm gonna let you get an opportunity to do it better. Absolutely, you win. I hate mouth <laughs> noises. Yeah. Mouth noises is my big I knew that too. I hate yeah. it so bad. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> what is my love language. This is multiple choice. Darius. Okay. So I'm going to give you multiple choice. Okay. A, physical touch. B, gifts. C, quality time. D, words of affirmation. D. Or E, quality time. No, D, words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. Yes. <laughs> Sharon, would you like to weigh in? More than one. I would say A, touch, and C, um, what was C again? Gifts, quality time. Quality time. Qu you I, think it's quality time I, and physical I, touch? Yeah, I think it's those two. It's definitely not gifts. You yeah. win. Yeah. You didn't wait to hear all of it. What did you say? Quality time or words of affirmation? I said words of affirmation. That nah. is part of it. That is part of it. Okay, go ahead. Plead your case since you just so. I, I promise you, we, we could go the whole day without seeing each other. But if I don't text you correctly with the right words or in the phone call, if I don't say the right things to you, the whole entire day is completely ruined. Wait, you actually, she, she needs I to hear the to right agree words. I with that. Yeah. Honey, you better be on point texting her ass, for real. If you say the wrong damn words. Exactly. It's, it's like, what do you it's, mean by I this? am a wordsmith. Then, then you get like 20 more texts. And so, you know, I'll let you guys have it because it honestly, you know, in, in in the love language world, you have a few, but they're yeah. just categorized, yeah. right? So it's yeah. like, I am physical touch, I am quality time, and I am words of affirmation. Well, I know yeah. you're not gifts. You're not the materialistic person. No, the gifts is always last, but yeah. acts of service is up in there as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys are tied on that. Five, what is my secret talent? Sharon. 
I don't know if it's a secret talent, but I think you are very intuitive. You are aware of everything that's going on, even though you don't acknowledge it. And maybe some people think they're getting by on you or they're slipping something past you. It might be a month later, you'll you'll say everything that went on in this room. And I'm like, damn, how does she know what was going on? You're very sharp in that way. Darius Jackson. I was speaking on behalf of like just just actual like like just talent talent it? base. Uh, it, you could cook. Yes, you can cook. Uh, I, that that that's. It really the, touched me. <laughs> yeah, just the, just the, the times they use in the kitchen. I was like, wow, like okay, she done yes. shuffled up. So wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, you Whoa. guys both are kind of correct. I was actually going to say that I can pick things up with my feet. Oh. You know, I was going. You guys are going deep with the uh, with the with the responses. Those are also true, but yes, yeah, you, you know. But I'll say you both were wrong because it, Sorry, it's really just man. my secret little talent is definitely the picture up with my feet. Yeah. yeah, got big feet. Okay, um, next question: What movie or role do I really wish I had but didn't? Sharon, you know what it is, Sharon. I think you would kill the Whitney Houston story. That's the one. I wish they've done they've done Whitney way too many times. I need them to let my girl rest. Right. But I would have loved to do that. Uh -huh. I mean, come on. <laughs> I thought it was even with that. I got you. <laughs> I thought it was Snow White. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, Snow White. But you know what? Not really. <laughs> That's okay. not. You know, it's kind of like one. Of <laughs> 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 it's like yeah, that would have been great. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But at the same time, it was like, really, Snow White or Whitney? There's no competition. That is true. Okay, yeah, yeah. When, okay. You, when you when you put both together, yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Here we go. Um, what was the worst trouble I have ever gotten in? Darius, when Larry done saw you had a boyfriend when you was like 13 years old. Ding, ding, ding. Yes. That's correct. I've shared a lot with you. Yeah. I never will be forget that. My dad, you guys, he <laughs> saw my computer. I don't know why he was searching on my computer. <laughs> he searched on my computer and saw my conversations, my correspondence with my then young boyfriend. My daddy went off. He went off. <laughs> Kiki, I told you, you can't have a boyfriend. Oh my gosh, that was so crazy. Ooh. <laughs> it was all when I was on tour. I just wanted to have a little conversation. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to end it with this question. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh -oh. If I had another career outside of entertainment, what would it be? Sharon, I think you would. You love glam and hair and makeup. I think you own like a bunch of salons, hair salons. I love that salons. I'm still a big boss, even in the alternate universe. Yes, yes. I think you're, that's what I think you love. Even on this movie set, that's where you hang out with. You You seem to bond with the glam people. Yes. Um, I, I guess it's like adding an addition. I guess it all matches into that world because she she loves nails. She loves doing the nails and she really uh, likes the whole Lily came to the point in time where yeah. she was inviting Nora Laurel, Rainy. She was doing their nails just yes. voluntarily. I can absolutely kill a nail set. And just so me. so I mean, but obviously that's that's still in that realm. Yeah. That's still in that glam world. You guys so. both are correct. I mean, I think it's safe to say that you guys both know me incredibly well. You know, let's give you guys a round of applause. <laughs> Uh, well, as I said, I'm sad to say, you guys, but, you know, it feels good to get all this off of our chest and have just a good conversation, especially not just with you two, which I'm always doing, but with you guys. So I'm so glad we got to do this with AMP. I think we got to figure out another way to do it again. Um, thank you for all the people that called in, that listened in. I hope you had just as much fun as we did. And now it's time to say goodbye, but I'll be back next week. Until then, you know it's your girl, baby, it's this, it's this key.